welcome back to my channel welcome back to another week in my life in new york city i went to pilates this morning and i just got a lot of cleaning done work done i've honestly just had a morning to myself of getting my life together um <laughs> what's new anyways it's monday which you guys already know what that means that means we record a new episode of gals on the go podcast and before that before we go to the studio brooke and i got invited to the meta office um so we're gonna get a tour of the meta office and meet a ton of the team which i am so excited about i'm low-key geeking i've been telling all my friends uh, so I want to look good. So I thought we'd plan an outfit together. You guys cool with that? So I want to style my outfit around this Coach Tabby bag. This is from the Coach Shine collection, and this is the Coach Tabby shoulder. I love it because you can also make it go crossbody, so it's very versatile. As you guys know, I've been in my silver era. I've been loving wearing, like, silver jewelry. Um, so this bag kind of helps bring it all together. It's also, like, a rainy day, so I'm feeling very much a gray outfit. I also have this bag from the Coach Shine Collection. This is the pen shoulder bag in the color magenta and brass. I love this. It's super spacious and actually has room to put cards, like card slots, which I think is super great. I also love that after you zip it, you just lock it in place right there. Like, you literally lock it. How nice. This is so great to dress up any outfit. It also comes in other colors. I absolutely adore this shape, this style. It's the perfect size. It would go great with a neutral outfit. Um, bright colors are very in for fall. This is also giving, like, gals on the go. Live shows coming up. Maybe I'll bring this to some live shows. It's just super cute. So, I will have this link down below in the LTK post as well. Everything from the Coach Sign collection truly just brings out your confidence in an outfit, I feel. <laughs> so, I have this top. It's like a blue black tube top situation but it's an asymmetrical moment which i think would be really cute it's very flattering on i've been really loving wearing tops like this because it sucks you in <laughs> and then i actually thought it'd be fun to pair that top with these black um faux leather shorts and because they're really really comfortable and i think that's a nice sleek look and then add some black boots it's getting a little chillier here in new york so i want to throw over top a blazer i love this gray blazer so much we'll see when i try it on but i think this will kind of pull the whole outfit together and then we'll add accessories and stuff but let's start there and we'll see how it goes <laughs> okay loving this this is a good base see how like that's so cute and then we'll throw over top this gray blazer and then obviously gonna go silver earrings i either have these or of these hoops. I can't stop wearing these, but we're going with these because they're so cute. I can't believe it's finally starting to get cold in New York because it's been so hot. <laughs> like, I could not break out the fall candles when it was still really hot outside. I wanted to lean into summer as much as I could while we still had it, but I'm definitely thinking the Yule Log is gonna come out soon. Okay, earrings look good, and I just did a slick back because there is no chance in this world that my hair would last in that rain. Okay, cute. This looks so good. Okay, as for shoes, I know we're going to be walking and training today, so I need to make sure I'm wearing comfortable shoes. Um, so these have, like, basically no heel, and then these have a little heel. I feel like I should just go with the flat. I literally stuff my boots so they stand upright. <laughs> All right, let's hope this looks good with everything else, because this is the plan. Do you guys like my socks? Okay, let's go to the full body mirror and see how it's all working. I really just love this Coach Tabby bag and all of the other bags from the Coach Shine collection. I will have this bag along with other bags that I think are just as amazing. Link down below. It'll be on my LTK. You guys know how much I love LTK as it is. So I'll have this linked there for you guys to easily check it out and shop. But I just love how this bag allows me to express myself through my outfit. And I feel very confident. And I just, I can't believe that I'm working with Coach on this video. So thank you so much, Coach, for sponsoring this video. I, I can't believe it coach was one of my first designer bags and it's just full circle I literally texted my parents as soon as I found out I was working with coach and I was like guys and they were freaking out too because it's just one of those things it's very full circle and I love everything that coach has been putting out recently so yeah this style is definitely selling out fast like I said I will link other bags down below that you guys will also love but I love it so like I said I will have this linked down below and now let's head over to the office hello you hello. We have our little badges here. Very exciting. <laughs>
came with me to get my OBP. Can't go a day without it. We were right nearby. Now we're gonna go to the studio. Hello, we are back from recording in the med office. Feeling very inspired today. We switched up the podcast background today and I'm like obsessed with it. I think it's our favorite one so far. We had on the monitor like Gals in the Go, which I think made it special. And then I came back, lit my candles. It's still like a rainy day outside. And I was just feeling very inspired after the Meta um, office tour. And we also just did a little meeting with her. Um, and I just got inspired to like make a reel. So I just did a little reel. Got my whole setup right here. I actually think I like this. So I always want to film with this in the background, but the lighting is coming from the window. But I thought to bring out my light and actually looked really good. I've been loving seeing people's videos where they do wearing versus styling an outfit. So I just did a couple outfits. This black top I was wearing earlier with this black skirt, and then I added boots and lots of jewelry. I'm slowly taking off the jewelry, but um, I had a lot of fun with it. I'm excited to go edit it. So I was just in a mood, and I was like, well, before I take off all my makeup, let me film something so did that and I'm just gonna catch up on emails I might take a shower just get all cozy because I'm in for the night I'd like to go for a walk but I'm pretty sure it's going to be raining the rest of the evening so I'm kind of waiting so I won't take a shower if I can take a walk I've just been loving evening walks before dinner it's been really nice I just took my makeup off and I've been using this I've used it on and off and now I just got the new scent or flavor the Elemis Pro Collagen Green Fig Cleansing Balm my skin just feels like moisturized at the same time while you're taking your makeup off, which is really nice. I actually talked about this on the podcast today. I just love the smell of it. And I feel like while it's taking my makeup off, it's also moisturizing my skin. You literally just apply it to your skin, raw dog it, and then add water afterwards to kind of take it off. My skin feels so good. I haven't even added any moisturizer on yet. Okay, now that the sun's coming out, I think I'm gonna make myself a little dinner and then we're gonna go for a walk. So I have leftover rice and green beans that I made last night and then I have some chicken breast here that I'm gonna heat up. It's a perfect little dinner. I quickly ate my dinner, took off my makeup and it's still, it like started raining again. And now I feel like it's gonna get dark soon and it's so cozy in here right now. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should stay in. Put the cozies on. I'm wearing this sweatshirt from 1111. It's got like a martini on it. I wish I liked martinis, you guys. I need to start liking martinis. <laughs> Sweatpants, I actually am forgetting in this very moment. I think they're from uh, Story, the brand Story. They're just simple and I have my heart socks on that I was wearing earlier. But I think it is time to get on my lovely couch and bring my computer here, put on some TV. I worked super hard the last two weeks during fashion week and was just go, go, go. And I think I'm like, wait, I feel like I should be doing something, but calm before the storm, birthday weekend's coming up. I think I need to chill. I'm getting pimples in just such odd places. There, there on the top of my nose and then above my eyebrow. This is just not ideal. I do not need to be ringing in my 25th year of life with a pimple on my nose. I feel like Rudolph. I'm obsessed with this jazz music, but I'm gonna turn it off so I don't get it copyrighted. Um, I'm just gonna clear out my inbox as I like to do. And then I have a vlog going up this Wednesday, so I'm gonna make the thumbnail for that. And then I also have some Instagram stories that I need to submit to a brand for approval. So I'm going to like draft those up. Um, I'm going to keep listening to this autumn jazz on Spotify and liking it. But as I'm needing more content, I'll probably put on Gossip Girl. That's been my thing. Gossip Girl, Gilmore Girls. That vibe in the fall is so nice because I've watched it all the way through. Actually, I haven't watched Gilmore Girls all the way through. Fun fact. Not on purpose or anything. Um, but I like to just have it on kind of like a podcast. So if I'm in the other room, I'm not missing something because I've already seen it. So more so for Gossip Girl. What TV shows do you guys watch during the fall? Like what evokes at autumn for you guys? Comment down below. I'm curious. But anyways, I'll be here. It's time for bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs>
everybody. It's Tuesday. My last day of being 24. <laughs> uh, I had a lovely morning to myself. Oh, yes, I got a Chipotle fork. Uh, I went for a walk. I got a massage. Went to the dry bar because I have stuff that I need to shoot today for some campaigns. And then I got Chipotle, which I haven't had in so long. I just get brown rice, black beans, chicken, tomato and lettuce, no sauce, no cheese. I don't, just preference. So I'm gonna eat this and then I need to like do my makeup and stuff, but it's been a lovely morning to myself. I think I'm gonna start walking the High Line more. So I usually go to the West Side Highway, but the High Line, it's nice. It's very relaxing and lots of nature, which is nice. Cheers. I've received a box of flowers in the mail and I'm assuming it's for my birthday, which is so sweet. And I'm like, who sent? Oh my god! Oh my gosh! What's the proper way to do this? Guys, it's like so many roses. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. I love white roses. Oh my gosh, I wonder who they're from. A vase? I actually was needing another vase, so I'm very excited. I think I have this exact one. Perfect. All right, you have a message. Oh, oh, that's so, I'm assuming it's from my mom. Oh, happy 25th birthday, beautiful bright Danielle. You are truly the best daughter I could ever ask for. Wait, that's so cute, I'm gonna cry. Mom, I love you. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. I don't know why, it just made me emotional. The f I think the photo got me. Okay, well, we're gonna send her a selfie. That was so nice. These are so beautiful. It must be like a two dozen situation. That's, it makes them so full. Mom, this is so sweet. Birthday, my grandparents are singing me happy birthday. I think everyone thinks my birthday's today. This is so cute. Aww. This is so cute. Aww, this is so sweet. This scene in Gossip Girl literally makes me so happy. Like Chuck and Blair are just so happy together there. Sitting here watching Gossip Girl, let me pause this. Ugh. Chuck and Blair, like the love they have for each other is just so contagious. Um, I got my shooting done, but I kind of, I like forget that the sun's setting earlier now. Apparently until March of 2024, the sun's gonna set before 7 p.m. I think it sets at like 6.30 today. Um, but I'm sitting here, I made another cup of joe. This um, looks like it's from Ralph's Coffee, but it's from Amazon. Um, I'm on Pinterest because you guys during Fashion Week were really loving my fashion content. It made me really happy because I love fashion so much. And ever since I've moved to New York, a lot of people said your style has changed, but it's because this is how I've always like wanted to dress. I just kind of dress where I am. Like if I'm, if I'm in Florida, I'm wearing bright colors. If I'm in the city, I'm going more edgy. I don't know, I just really enjoy kind of leaning into wherever I am when I go to Georgia. I wear the Southern Girlfriend puffy sleeves. Like I just love it. But I do think at the end of, at the, end of the day, I do have some sort of sense of like specific style. Um, anyways, I really want to do more style TikToks and reels. Um, so I'm saving a ton of outfits on Pinterest right now of outfits that I want to recreate. So I looked up like Matilda Jerv because she has really simple outfits that you can kind of take pieces from your own closet and recreate. Obviously Hailey Bieber has a lot of outfits that I want to recreate as well. So I'm thinking I might film one or two today and just kind of like have them as like batch recorded because when I'm in the mood, I should get them done. Um, I'm also waiting on Delaney. We may go for a walk because I forgot if I said this earlier, but she's never been on a walk on the High Line. And I was like, oh my gosh, I would totally go on another walk today because this morning was so lovely. Um, but she, now that the sun sets earlier, I don't know if that'll be possible. So I'm just waiting on her. So I want to be productive. And yeah, I'm just in a really good mood because I freaking love Gossip Girl and I love coffee. It's just good, okay? Okie dokie, Delaney gave the go ahead. So I'm gonna walk to meet her and then we're gonna walk the High Line. I'm so excited, featuring my paper towel holder. The angles that I just randomly will get during my vlogs, like I'll just pop my camera somewhere. I just put my Outdoor Voices exercise dress back on. 
put some element in my water because after you get a massage you have to hydrate up because they're moving a lot of stuff around and I feel like I have a headache and this always helps me with my headaches. So anyways, it's golden hour. Let's go. Was that focused on the paper towels the whole time? That's funny. was so lovely i'm gonna make some ground turkey with some fusilli pasta and sauce i wonder how many steps i'm at today guys i did a lot of walking the best thing ever is the smell of garlic cooking as i've said before but wow it just smells so good um but yeah i'm just cooking chilling me i hope i hit 10,000 steps today 20,000 i'm so happy Looking so divine. Dinner is all wrapped up. Got some leftovers, which I always adore. Just doing the dishes. Going to clean the counters, of course. Having white counters is fun, but it also constantly shows dirt. So we gotta clean. Um, it's so weird. Normally I stay up till midnight. Wait till I, you know, it's my birthday, whatever. I don't know. Maybe this is what getting older is. You know, usually you're excited for your birthday. And I'm excited. I'm obviously excited. This is a big birthday, 25. But I think it's all hitting me like I'm not 12 years old anymore. And, like, life is real. People get older. People get sick. People, you know, come and go from our lives. And I've been on lots of walks today. <laughs> So I've just done a lot of um, reflecting. And I really am so grateful for my life, for everyone in my life. I've had so many people text me today like, tomorrow's your birthday. And just the fact that people remember that tomorrow's my birthday, I don't know. It means a lot to me. And birthdays are weird, like I get it. Like I've always been like a birthday lover and I still am, but I definitely get why some people might not like their birthdays. Um, but regardless, I'm very excited. Tomorrow, instead of doing, let's go chat on the couch. This is not the vibe. I just took a shower too. I take like 5,000 showers a day. Tomorrow, instead of a birthday dinner with like all of my friends, I don't know why birthday dinner was stressing me out. I was just, I really get nervous that I'm gonna leave people out or I, I don't know. And I didn't want it to be a super big dinner. Anyways, I'm doing a birthday breakfast tomorrow. I'm so pumped because breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Um, and basically I just invited whoever wanted, like, I know a lot of my friends have work, so I know they wouldn't be able to come. I wanted it to be super casual, whoever could make it, if you work from home, or some of my friends that do social media, or some of my friends don't go into the office till later, whatever it may be. I was like, no pressure, I'm going to breakfast at 9am at Dudley's, whoever wants to come can. Um, and a good group of people are coming, so I'm really happy. It'll be a fun way to start the day because every year on my birthday, it's so my, the last few years my birthday's been on like a weekday. And in school it was so fun because you go to class, whatever. But when you work from home, it is kind of funny because you're just like sitting, I'm like sitting at home all day working and I'm like, oh, or doing stuff on my, whatever. I'm like, where are all my friends? You know? So it, it's fun to like start the day with breakfast. So I'm pumped. Maybe it'll be a new movement. So we're doing 9 a.m. Um, it's 9.30 now and I'm like, I kind of want to go to bed soon so that... Like, I kind of want to walk to the Lower East Side because that's where Dudley's is. It's one of my favorite places to get breakfast. I love it. I get the big brekkie plate. There's, like, bacon, halloumi, egg, salad, um, toast. Like, ugh, so good. Avocado. They don't have decaf coffee, though. So I will... So I kind of want to wake up and walk there with my coffee. And I think a lot of people are just going to be wearing, like, workout clothes and stuff. So I don't really know. I don't really know my vibe. I got to pick up my outfit now. So when I wake up in the morning... I just, like, I already have it picked out. Anywho, I'm just doing some cleaning in my apartment, as I feel like I always am. <laughs> and then I'm going to get in bed. I'm going to read. Or maybe watch some more Gossip Girl. I don't really know my journey for the night. But the next time I talk to you guys, I'll be 25. <laughs> Good night. I'm 25! It's a fucking celebration. 
All right, it's my birthday. Welcome to so much love. I want to walk to Dudley's. It's like a 40 minute walk. So here's the outfit. Jumpsuit is Abercrombie, all my regular jewelry. Blazer is Lioness, Adidas sneakers. Let's go to Dudley's and hang out with some of my besties. Look who I ran into on my walk. Yay, I'm so excited. It's such a lovely group of us. A good way to start the day. And yeah, I'm like sweating. I had to take my blazer off at one point because I can't believe you walked. I know. I just like it. Actually, I walked fast, so it ended up only taking like 35 minutes, I think. So I initially was running late, and then you know when you're like, I'm trying yeah. to beat the the maps. That's what I did. Look who's here first. Suburban mom check. Happy birthday! Oh, you get a hug. Yes, you get a hug on your birthday. Oh my god! I guess. Look who's Happy here. birthday! Hi guys. Oh, this is so cute. Wow, this looks so good. I'm learning about all the, like, guys, the sandwich. <laughs> it just looks so, like, yummy. It's very colorful, huh? It that was so lovely. I think I would always do a birthday breakfast, even though it's sad not all my friends were able to go because of work. Um, it was really nice. And Brooke brought me these two huge, hefty gifts here. And she told me I was gonna open it there. And she's like, nah, just FaceTime me when you're home. So, um, okay, let's call Bricky. Hi! Ready. Which bag should I open first? It's, uh, I guess the one with the card in it. But not oh, there's a card. I love a card. Oh, there's a card. Yeah. It's so funny seeing like your handwriting. Like. <laughs> No, my handwriting is the same. It's just like I forget. Oh, look at this card. I love oh, it. Oh, I thought that it was, it was like the, the toast thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> the girl who truly embodies the perfect blend of calm and chaos. That's so nice. <laughs> I, lo I love the caption you did on the Instagram this morning. That was funny. Oh, thanks. The Aww, this is so This is so sweet. Um, I'm like nervous. This is like a heavy bag. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Low expectations. Low expectations. That's really nice of you. It's fun to open something. Of course. Is this the candle? The candle, It's the Drake candle. Oh my god. I need to raise your phone. I'm a little confused if it's like his company or if he just like likes the scent. No, it's not his company. I think it's like his favorite scent or something. I don't even know. I just remember I saw the TikTok and I was like, look, bro. Yes, I read an like, yeah, like, right this. I don't know Car Carby Mass. There's like a, a thing. Oh, you can write your name on it. Oh my like god, it smells really Carby. good. <laughs> I should write my name on I need. I know, I need to do more research on it. I think it's like what he loves to smell, and I'm like, I want to smell like what Drake wants me to smell like. <laughs> oh, thank you. I wonder what this is for. Maybe to like write on it. Better World Fragrance Yeah, it's definitely not his brand. I knew that. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. Thank God. <laughs> can't tell I'm oh my lying. god thank you I know there's no sniff option one day there will be um, I think it's a Canadian company that makes sense supporting yes, oh my god supporting. that's so nice that you're this one is um an ode it's, we're on a similar theme here so <gasps> an ode to theme. Drake <laughs> or yeah, just a for theme that's the motif wait I'm excited yes okay it's all um it's all <laughs> Oh, you went to the store. That's so yes, great. Yes. Guys, this is Drake's brand, OVO. And Brooke actually asked me, she's like, do you own anything from it? And I was like, actually, no, I don't. Um, this is so nice. And I would wear this. Like, it's a nice gray crew neck. Okay, oh, good. So I went for nice. a motif. And everything is um, exchangeable. I couldn't tell the sizing. Like, I didn't yeah, Well, it looks nice and oversized. What I like. Oh, my God. It's all. Oh, this. oh. I know. I thought that you would like this because you said that you didn't get any I don't. more merch, and this is like the oh, they're they're like exclusive. Like it's not. It kind of is the tour merch. Yeah. Wait. It kind of. So I don't have any tour merch. It's yeah, all a no, blur. You, said that you didn't have any, and it's a little bit like thicker of a material, so it's, it's a little. It's, it's not nicer. Really merch, but it's nice. Wait. I'm upset. Wait, I love a Drake gift. Thank you. Yes, I went, I leaned in. I oh my god. The last thing just completely said. 
I'm so. It's like the. I'm not, I wasn't sure how the sizing was on all this stuff, so I. But you can just exchange if needed. Okay. You know? <laughs> I thought that you would like this if we complete the gray. Like, are these sweatshorts? Yes. These are sick. Oh, so they go with the sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this what's that? I'm dripping and drink. <laughs> I, I like how subtle it is, though. It's like the little owl in the corner, but it's really nice quality, right? I am. Brooke, this is so thoughtful. Thank oh, you so I'm much. I'm glad you like it. Wait, this is the best birthday gift ever to hold. Thank oh, you. you. <laughs> I literally <laughs> love it. A picture of you holding it up. Let me hold it up properly here. Big drink girl. I love it. <laughs> I'm yes. obsessed. Brooke, thank you so much. Um, Living Proof just sent me a birthday cake. They're having an event tonight that I don't think I can go to because I'm going to dinner with Ryan, but it's like a techno inspired theme. And this is so freaking nice. They sent me a cake. Okay, we're gonna do something fun. I just switched out of my blazer because it's getting a little warmer. I just put this like bolero on, I think that's what it's called. We're gonna go around New York City, some places I know that do birthday freebies. Like I want my Sephora birthday reward little gift. Press Juicery gives you a free drink and there's some other things I Googled and I texted some of my friends. So we're just gonna go have a moment. I mean, I literally have nothing planned today. I am honestly so happy. Like I had the morning and now I can just be alone and I have a spray tan at four o'clock. Birthday spray tan. So yeah, let's go. Let's find some birthday freebies. I've never done this before. It's my birthday and I wanna do a day where I go and get all the birthday freebies I can in New York City. Just got back and there is this beautiful bouquet of flowers waiting at my door, but I really don't see a note, but they're so beautiful. Okay, update, I still don't know who these flowers are from and I don't wanna like text certain people and be like, was this you and then it's not them. Like, I don't want them to feel like that. But they're so gorgeous and they didn't come in like a box. It's almost like someone dropped them off. I don't know, I might put it on my Instagram story. My secret admirer. Um, they're so gorgeous. But freebies was so fun. I literally didn't spend any money just now. Kind of, I ate like half that cinnamon roll though from Panera Bread and I'm like, whew. Cause I like had the big breakfast, you know? I've showered exfoliated we are ready for my spray tan in like an hour i just ate a piece of cake for lunch that because my aunt called to wish me happy birthday and then she i was telling her about the cake and the more i talked about the cake she was like oh my god what's the frosting i'm like it's vanilla buttercream like now i just i just wanted that cake so i just had a piece of cake so i feel like i'm gonna have a sugar rush and then it makes me anxious so i need to like have a carrot or something to bring i, I don't even know like a grounding food i don't even know if that makes sense but Vibes are good, listening to Nora Jones, responding to emails. I'm like loving this moment for my birthday. Like breakfast in the morning with friends, chill day to myself, like work day, whatever. And then dinner with Ryan tonight. And we're getting a spray tan, how fun. I forgot if I vlogged or not, but I found out the sender of these flowers, Miss Margot Oshry. So gorgeous, I just put them in this frame, or in this frame. <laughs> vase. I can never keep my makeup area organized. It just stays looking like this, but it's kind of fabulous. Like, don't you just love being a woman? Just having beautiful makeup products sprawled out. The outfit I'm wearing is peeking out over here. Oh my gosh, here she is. This dress. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. <laughs> How fun. And then I'm wearing these shoes with it, so it's perfect. Wrapping Ryan's birthday gift, because Friday's his birthday, but we're celebrating both of our birthdays tonight. For dinner, so I got him two of his one of his favorite brands, Johnny O, some Georgia shirts um, for game days, and he just like loves these shirts. Look at this card I got! Happy birthday to a total hunk! I just thought it was funny. Nora's here, Bessa Bella Bronze baby. I'm so pumped! Oh, confetti! <laughs> I, know, I, just love that. I love that! I'm so pumped! Happy I'm like, birthday. thank you. This shirt Brooke got me is so nice. Like the quality is amazing. My first piece of Drake tour merch. I love it so much. The, I also am spray tan now, yay. So I also was like, I need to put on a black shirt. I can put on my new black shirt. Um, when she was up here, Nora, she was like, I think there's more flowers for you downstairs. Might not be, but I feel like I should go check my mail. And I'm really standing here debating like, if I put on shorts, you probably wouldn't be able to see them anyways. So I'm really debating going downstairs to pick up my packages like this with shoes on. 
I think I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, you guys, more flowers have arrived. There were two bouquets waiting downstairs. They're so beautiful. They look so good all together. Oh my gosh, I just got an Amazon package. I was like, I didn't order anything. Keeping your ginger intake high for your birthday. From MJ and the Electric Picks team. I need to know what's in here. I'm assuming ginger shots? People are so thoughtful. Like, I wanna know what's in here. Oh, oh. Oh my, <laughs> guys, they literally <laughs> just sent a whole, oh, oh, a whole box of ginger shots, and I'm wondering if this box is, sick. guys, this is the best birthday gift ever. I am going to be so dead if there's more ginger shots. <laughs> oh my god. My doorman was like, it was a different, it was my favorite doorman. He was like, oh my god, today's your birthday. Guys, literally two whole boxes of ginger shots. Team of electric picks, I love you guys so much. MJ, thank you guys. Update, these flowers are from the Skin Fix team. I'm obsessed with this arrangement, how gorgeous. And then Katie, Colby, and Adam, one of my favorite podcasts, Match Made in Manhattan, sent me these flowers. So nice, so nice. I need to like spread the love. Maybe I bring like these, because they go with my bedroom, like these into my bedroom. Switch up the aesthetic. I think my nightstand is just asking for some flowers. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't think I've, think I've ever had flowers in here because I had like smaller nightstands, but now with the big nightstands, I could fit them. Okay, I like can't sit down because all my furniture is white and I don't get my spray tan anywhere, so I'm just walking around and I realized I took my last thing of supplements today, so I'm gonna fill them up for the week. Um, I've got some of them here. As you guys know, I was trying out the like prebiotic powder, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna go back to taking it in capsule form. Like this one's prebiotic and then there's probiotic and postbiotic in this. Um, and then I always take a women's daily, of course, which I think is super important. And then I take like elderberry and magnesium, all the things. So I'm just gonna keep filling these up, playing my game of Mancala. And then we'll be all done. Okay, I just did my makeup. I hate putting on makeup over a spray tan, but we did it. I also, my hair is just, my hair's just been annoying me in general lately. I just wear it up all the time, but I just tried to use my round brush. I think my hair is just at this length where, like I think I just need to get some face framing pieces again, because they're just really long, because I have this like blunt haircut, which I like, so it makes your hair look super thick and healthy, and I think my hair is thicker. Um, but there's just no like body. Like I use this, but I just push it to the side because I was like, oh, maybe that's better. But honestly, I don't think it is. Anyways, Ryan said he's walking over. The place that he made a reservation for us at, it's like a rooftop, they just canceled on him. They said they had a last minute event to get booked. So the whole place, so they rebooked us at their sister location, which is the glass ceiling in Nomad. So random, but Ryan was like, look at the menu, let me know. And they have pasta. So honestly, it's fine. My outfit options are limited. I have this, and I'm just wondering, this might be a little too, like I wore this in Greece, I love this. It's just like a little fancy, just the back. It's this Simkai dress. I mean, it's stunning. Maybe I could wear it again, but Whatever, it's my birthday. Or I also have this dress, which I've worn twice now in the last week. It's just this dress from Revolve. It kind of cinches up the waist, buttons. But I kind of want to wear the other dress. So we're going to try it out. Put some jewelry on. And uh, I think Ryan and I are going to... We might do gift exchange before we go to dinner. It just depends on timing. This dress is seriously so stunning. I just feel like it's not meant for a Wednesday night in New York City because I'd have to wear I, I don't think I can wear this you guys it's gorgeous maybe I'll answer the door to Ryan with this and then be like okay I'm changing because it's just it's meant for vacation I feel right all right this is the dress I usually wear it in more casual settings but it's such a nice dress actually and it's perfect and flowy. I can add some necklaces. My spray tan's coming in nicely. Um, I just need to put some nippies on, but I think it's cute. It's from Evolve. 
It's perfect. My spray tan girl would be so happy with me. She's like, you're going to dinner tonight. I was like, I'm wearing something loose and dark, I promise. Ryan's here. He brought me these beautiful flowers and Magnolia Bakery. I'm so, uh, a skincare company. And then Margo. Where are the other two I gave you? They died. <laughs> I know. Me blowing out my candle as a wish. Um, okay. <sighs> Good night, guys. It's been an amazing birthday. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, and I was just planning out my outfit because we have a workout. I just showered off my spray tan. It looks fabulous. Um, I'm realizing I have a workout, though, which was dumb. But it's weightlifting with my trainer, so I don't sweat as much. I'm going to tell her, like, can't sweat too much. <laughs> but I really just, like... I woke up feeling like angsty for some reason. I have no idea why. And weightlifting always like helps with that, so I'm excited. So I'm planning on my outfit. I'm gonna wear this, which I've never worn to work out. It's like my favorite Aritzia romper ever, and it's not too like stuck to my skin, so I thought it'd be good for the spray tan. And my legs will be out, so they won't get any weird marks on my legs. From there, I have some errands to run, and then I'm actually going to a special Apple showcase event, which I'm so pumped about. Brooke is going to. It's we get to get a first look at like the iPhone 15, I think new AirPods, stuff like that, and I'm pumped. But I don't have time to come back because I'm going to be in Soho already, and that's in Tribeca. Anyways, I was like, how can I do this? So I'm going to do a similar outfit I did yesterday. I'm going to bring along this blazer, and it's like 60 degrees outside. Add the blazer with the hat, with sneaks. It's a whole outfit, you guys. It works like a charm. So... I don't know. It's kind of like my go-to. In other cities, maybe this is like a dumb look, but a lot of people rock this look in New York, so I'm like, all right, we're just going to lean into it. Um, so yeah, bringing earrings. Might wear this hat just all day, um, but it kind of the hat kind of like brings the outfit together. Here's the look. I just feel so put together, and it's just so chic, I think. So let's go do the day. <laughs> Brooke is here. She looks fabulous. The lip color. It's really nice. It's cute. I like it. You look amazing. We're about to go in. Oh yeah, spray tan. <laughs> Brooke's getting me a pumpkin drink. Yep, love that. I haven't had a pumpkin, like, or a fall drink yet, and Brooke's like, Thursday, BOGO. Yeah. She was like, I want a fall drink. Well, you know, and they have decaf espresso here. So I got a pumpkin spice latte with all the fixings. I <laughs> all the fixings. I'm pumped. Um, this is a little embarrassing. <laughs> I wanted all the fixings, <laughs> but I didn't think about it looking like a frappuccino. <laughs> oh. All right, first PSL of the season. Cheers. <gasps> Cheers. Okay. Oh, I'm just not off. <laughs> wow, that's that's good though. That's very good. It's hitting. It's hitting. Hello, I'm back now. Um, today was so lovely. I learned so much about iOS 17. Like I, it, some of the features that they are including are insane. Like. There's something called name drop where if you meet someone you want to exchange contact info you literally just put your phones together and it transfers your information you can also like customize so if someone's calling you or like i set a profile for myself like a photo so whenever i call someone even if they don't have my number it'll like show up as my like profile which is so cute um so you can customize like what people see there's like a check-in feature so if I'm leaving a bar with friends, I can say, and you know, they're like, text me when you get home. I can start a check-in and I'll say like a destination and a time. And if I'm not at that destination at that time, it alerts them. And then it tells them like my battery level and my location, all that stuff. So like they know if something were bad to happen. So really cool. Those are just like a couple things. And then I got some coffee with Brooke and then I rushed home because I had a call. 
Um, I was actually chatting with the pickle girls. There's an apple. There's an apple. Pickle app. I'm a little tired. There's an app called Pickle where um, you can like rent out your clothes to other people. Um, I'm not sure if it's around the country or I intend to do it within people in New York City. Because I have so many clothes that I've bought that are really nice that might have been for more special occasions. And I want them to have more lives and people to be able to rent them, especially if it's something that was sold out or whatever. So I was talking to them about how to use it. And then I just got my Len, which you guys already know the drill. It's my favorite lunch as of late. Turkey, spinach wrap, with tomato, lettuce, oil and vinegar, provolone cheese, and onion. Actually, I think I forgot to add onion today. Um, but that's okay. But we move. Um, Katie Bilotti just texted me, what's your favorite place to buy blazers? I'm feeling influenced. Oh, because I saw her in, in, at the gym today. And yeah, I didn't sweat a lot today, which was good for the spray tan and since I was going somewhere after. But I brought like mini deodorant and perfume in my bag, so it's fine. Anywho, I'm gonna like decompress for a second and get some work done. And we have an event tonight. And my birthday party's tomorrow. <laughs> Hello everybody. So, came back, got on my, I showered, got on my computer, cleared my inbox, responded to all my birthday texts and stuff because I didn't want to leave any unread because it's very kind when people reach out. And then I was like, okay, I have like 30 minutes to kind of chill before I start getting ready and then so much happened, all good stuff. Like, basically ended up getting an upgrade for my birthday party tomorrow. They are now putting us in the penthouse sky lobby lounge, not lobby, sky lounge on the 39th floor tomorrow for my birthday, which is so crazy. But now I wasn't initially going to be allowed to have a DJ, which I was definitely a little bummed about because I think a DJ really adds something to a party. And now that we have this venue, they're letting me have a DJ. So I was like, okay, I need to find a DJ. Um, all really good things and exciting. And um, it's just making me even more excited for my birthday party tomorrow. But I'm actually just finishing getting ready right now for a dinner. I was invited to a dinner with Meta for threads and just Instagram in general. And I'm very honored, very excited. So I was like, you bet I will be there. Um, and then some of my friends from Georgia are actually flying in this weekend. I think they've come to all three of my birthday parties. Or maybe not. No. No, maybe just last year and this year. Either way. Very excited. Well, I know Delaney came for my birthday, but now she lives here. Anyways, they're staying with Delaney, so I may go over to Delaney's apartment after the dinner to, like, be there to welcome them. I'm like, do I need a necklace? I don't think so. I'm wearing this, like, blazer dress, and I just did a half up, half down slick back. It's kind of my go-to at this point. But, yeah, this dinner is at the Canary Club, which I've never been to. I think it's, like... Lower East Side Soho. I think I'm gonna go with these boots. Stuff my boots, as we know. Should be a grand old time. I feel like I've gotten dressed up so much the last few weeks and it's been so much fun. I love excuses to wear fun outfits. I mean, living in New York, you can kind of just dress up all the time, but it's just fun. I love expressing my passion for fashion. I think I'm gonna do this bag. It's just my go-to because it goes with a lot. I always get nervous because when I go to events, I typically end up knowing somebody, which is nice, but you never really know. And so you have to definitely put yourself out there, which I try to do anyways. But I, I literally don't know anyone that's going to the dinner tonight. It's always a fun little game. Like, who am I gonna see? So we will find out together. Here is the final outfit. I'm wearing a medium. It's from Revolve. I'm pretty sure it's the brand Low Academy. Earrings are Anthropology. And yeah, that's that. so lovely I'm so grateful for all of the really cool and unique things I've gotten to do this week I feel like this vlog was truly all over the place um, but hopefully you guys were able to keep up and enjoy it in any sort of way thank you all for all the very 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 sweet birthday wishes and comments and messages and 
everything in between I really just feel the love from you guys and it's really nice it's just so cool that I've been doing this for 10 plus years and you guys are still hanging with me um, so thanks for hanging and it is just so special to share this all with you guys and the next vlog I think is gonna be really fun so it's my birthday party vlog and it's the birthday party weekend is about to begin. Ryan's birthday is literally in an hour at midnight. Um, I wanted to be with him, but he has to be at work super early in the morning in the office. And he was like, I feel like I should just like go to bed. I was like, okay, whatever you say. I'm ending the vlog here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.